This video is about recognising some of the signs that you're waking up and coming to the realisation that those around you are deeply under mind control. Everyone seems pre-scripted. You find that people are having the same conversations no matter who they are, like they are pre-recorded conversations. If you sit on a bench in your community and listen in on these conversations, you will clearly see that people are pre-programmed, just like robots. Within these conversations, there's nothing of value or intelligence. They're often focused around media, work, weather and gossip, trivial or unimportant topics. These people will be the ones who talk the most and the loudest. They will cut you dead in the middle of a sentence. They will change the subject or even walk away and distract themselves with something trivial rather than listen to you. No one seems unique, like they're all cloned. Of course, not in body, but in mind. This is hive mind. They repeat word for word sentences that have been programmed into them by the media. If you trigger someone, they will regurgitate that which they have heard from someone else. These are not their own thoughts. They have no unique thoughts anymore. They are convinced that these thoughts are their own, yet you can clearly see that they are pre-programmed responses because you hear them everywhere. There is no room for your opinion, even when you're going to agree with them. It is as if they subconsciously know you're going to say something which will trigger them, so they set up a defence even before you've uttered a word. They will tell you their opinion as if everyone on the planet has the same opinion as them. At this stage, they will often refer to themselves as we. This is a classic emotional intimidation tactic. If they can get you to think that everyone has the same opinion as them, then you are isolated, alone, and this is a threat to your survival. Even though they may not actually do anything to threaten you physically, you will most definitely feel the energetic attack which comes with this. You will feel that punch in the stomach and solar plexus. This is a direct reaction to someone sending you negative, hostile and aggressive energy. Most awake people cannot stand this feeling and often will become disempowered and would deny their own perception in order to fit in with this herd mentality. This is programmed into us, it is a survival mechanism and it is hard to turn off. You simply cannot join in on boring conversations anymore. You find that you cannot listen to those who are still sleeping. You try hard to concentrate, to be polite, but as you have heard that story a thousand times before, it is hard to stay interested. Those who are sleeping will repeat the same story over and over again, with no awareness that you know this story already and could probably tell it better than they do. And then of course, there's the arrogant laugh. You will notice that if challenged, they will begin this strange, arrogant laugh. They are blatantly mocking you to your face. This makes them feel superior. And whilst they are feeling superior, they are distracting themselves from feeling uncomfortable with what you are exposing them to. Mocking you and making jokes of serious matters is another distraction tactic. Answering a question with a question. If you challenge their perception of reality, they will throw wildly out of context questions at you and refuse to answer your simple questions. This is such a childish response. You see children about the age of seven will go through a stage whereby they will deny the truth and argue just for the hell of it. Walk away. Do not engage with such a person. They're not going to answer you because they know they will lose what they perceive to be a fight. Anyone who threatens their worldview is an enemy to them. People begin to talk about you behind your back. They glory in the idea that their opinion of you is correct as they manipulate others to take their side. After all, there is comfort in numbers. This can be very difficult to handle, especially when it is your own family. You have to remember these people are mind controlled and they are not themselves. 
People who are triggered will try to say that you have lost your mind and will tag onto you stupid and untrue conspiracies just to be able to paint a bad picture of you, implying you believe anything you read on the internet. Talking about the internet, this is a classic pre-programmed response. You can't believe everything you read on the internet. Whilst they flick through their mainstream newspaper, they cannot see how they are the ones who are believing the elite's propaganda with no filter in place. These people have completely lost all ability to think for themselves. When you expose the truth to them, they will say you are the one being aggressive towards them, not because you are being aggressive, but because they are aggressively denying the truth. They have too much to lose. They're not used to being so truthful. They act in passive aggressive ways with everyone. They cannot stand you or different and you are not reacting in what they perceive to be a normal way. After all, the whole of society is operating from this passive aggressive stance. Most people are not real psychopaths. You may think their reactions to the truth is strange, but this is not the real them. It is the program running. However, sometimes you do come across a real psychopath and they can make it their mission to ridicule you and spread lies and malicious gossip about you if you trigger them. I lost one friend in particular who took an extreme offence to me trying to expose the chemtrails. She spread lies about me to anyone who would listen and tried to blacken my name and stalked me with sarcastic and nasty remarks on Facebook. If you wake up, be prepared to lose some friends. As you wake up, you begin to realise no matter how hard you try to not to bring up a subject which will trigger them, it seems that everything out of your mouth is triggering. So you play a game of dancing around the subject because you do not want to confront everybody all of the time. However, it is if on a subconscious level they know you're trying to avoid the subject and they themselves will bring it up. For example, they will bring up a news report which you know is totally fake and will state their opinion about it very loudly and will include you in their opinion too. They will state that you have the same opinion. So you find you are in a very tricky situation because now you not only have to tell them they are wrong as you do not have the same opinion as them, but also you have to expose what you know to be the truth. As you wake up, you suddenly find you have an inbuilt lie detector. This is difficult because you want to shout from the rooftops and expose the lie. Having to keep quiet and pretend you do not know is horrible. It will make the body feel very uncomfortable. The more truth you align with, the more lies become obvious. You have to watch you do not become a truth monster. Tread lightly when exposing the truth. You have to be respectful of other people's processes and their pace of awakening. When you first wake up, you want to tell everyone you are ill prepared for their reaction and can become angry yourself. This can turn to resentment because you realise you've wasted your life living someone else's lies. Don't take out your resentment on your sleeping family. Instead, get active and productive and use your warrior energy to do some good in the world instead of arguing with your family as they sleep. There will come a time when you can say I told you so, but for now be humble. Watch for your own ego kicking in. I have noticed that some who wake up and become educated will use their knowledge as a way of boosting their ego. You see this a lot in the online hangouts of those who think they are awake. People will argue about one theory or another. This is too is a distraction, is not productive. No one has a monopoly on the truth. Waking up is an ongoing process. No one can say they are completely awake and free of mind control. Not just yet. Then of course we have the new age programming which is there to catch people as they wake up. The new age programming is a little harder to spot, so let me break it down for you. The idea that everyone is a mirror of yourself. This is especially damaging as it cultivates selfishness and narcissism. Instead of looking at someone who is suffering and helping them, those with new age program running will instead tell themselves that this suffering person is a reflection of themselves. So instead of taking action and helping that person, they will instead only work on themselves. This does nothing of value to the other person and is pure selfishness and gives the person an excuse to not take any action. It is all meant to be. Their soul must have chosen it. This is especially manipulative because in a way it is partly true. Your soul did choose to come here. 
However, to look at a child who has been abused and tell them that they must have chosen this is simply adding to the abuse. Again, it gives the person an excuse to turn the other cheek. Do not react emotionally to anything. You must heal and process out all emotions. As we wake up, we realise we are damaged. We all carry baggage and when we wake up, we want to heal it. However, this has been taken too far. The New Age programme wants us to not feel anything, especially when we see atrocities. This is a desensitising tactic. I create my own reality. If I turn my back on the negative in the world, I can convince myself that it is not going on because it's not in my reality. This is very selfish. If you're seeing negativity in your reality, it must say something about you. These people go home and look to heal themselves instead of dealing with the negative in their outside world, again turning the cheek and doing nothing. If you focus on the negative, you're adding to it. This is designed to make you do nothing, to turn away from other people's suffering. If I sit in meditation and think about healing the world, that is enough. This is designed to stop you from taking action. Projection. They will project negative problems or issues onto you that they can then analyse in order to take the focus away from them and place it onto you. This is an extreme form of passive aggression. You will see people who are therapists do this if you trigger them. Not only does this take the focus away from them, but is a way of disappearing you to make you shut up. And at the same time, it gives them an ego boost because they have sorted you out. What amazing healers they are. It is all about them getting an ego boost. You just have to love everyone unconditionally and not judge anyone, even a paedophile. Can you see how dangerous this new age thinking is? Each to his own is a free license to turn your back on the evil in the world. Saviour programming. Of course, those in the new age have swapped Jesus for a Pleiadian ambassador. It is a religious program designed to make you sit back, do nothing and wait for the clouds to part and for the hero to save the day. We can obviously see this program running in the religions, especially Christianity, but it is also an active program running in the New Age community too. Look for the positive, even in a sea of negative. This is a dangerous part of the program because it makes a person ignore the evil in the world as they look for a scrap of positive in a sea of negative. Those with this running will accuse you of being negative, paranoid, delusional and mistrustful. Again, this is a form of emotional intimidation. They tell you not to judge and then they spend their whole time judging you. So I hope this video helps you as you awaken to recognise the signs that your friends and family are under mind control. Because only through waking up can we change this world for the better. Thanks for listening guys. All my love. Hallelujah.